Let's see what we can do with this tight skim material. Let's just get it on here. That's what it's called, tight skim, because we're, we're not putting very much on here at all. It's just a, a thin layer. You know, there's hardly anything on there. Looks like I need to put a little bit more along that edge. Just a hair. Okay. And that's why it's good to use a wider knife. If I did that with a six inch, I'd have to do this bit and then this bit, and pretty soon you can't get a nice flat area, you know, as easily. Okay? I can bridge it over just a hair further and up just a hair further. A little bit more right in there. Okay, you want to you want to overdo your patch. See that? That's how you want to do it. Each time you put that mud on, you want to wipe off the excess. You got a nice clean blade edge to work with. Oh man, that is really smooth. Good job. Okay, once we, once that dries, you gotta let that dry all the way and you'll know when it's dry. Then you can do a light dusting with your paddle sander again. All the way around the edges. And the important thing to remember when you're using a paddle sander, you only wanna do it a little bit and blend it in. You don't want to sand with this too much, thinking I'm going to sand and sand and sand and get it really super good. The more sanding I do, the better it's going to be. Eh, wrong. Because what you're going to do is you're going to sand this layer off and you're going to start going into the next layer of all-purpose mud and you could get down to the quick set. That's the last thing you want to do. You're, you're taking all your material off that you've already built up, that you've that you've invested your time in putting on the wall to make this nice and smooth, okay? So, be careful when you're sanding. Well, this patch is looking excellent. Now, I haven't sanded this yet, and if you're wondering, after you put the tight skin material on here, how long is it gonna take to dry? Well, it won't take very long, because you're just putting a very, very thin dusting layer of sheetrock mud on there, so it's not going to take as long as the first coat of all-purpose mud that you put over the quick set, okay? So if you got any question, make sure it's all dry, that it blends into the existing, and you should see where it's drying and stuff. If you've got any questions about it, let it go a little bit longer. The last thing you want to do is start sanding this before it's 100% dry, okay? It's the worst thing you can do because if you start balling up the, the top or scuffing it up, now you're going to have to put some more mud on there. 